I wanted to make this video showing you uh, about my uh, stern drive engineering SEI conversion that uh, goes onto a boat that had a OMC Cobra. I wanted to make this because I wish I could have seen someone else's if there was one and uh, had made a decision before buying. I'm extremely happy and uh, unfortunately I don't have video, video editing so it's going to be a long video but if it helps you in your purchase decision then I guess it's all good. Show you what we got. This is my uh, stern drive engineering SC116 out drive. Runs great. It shifts so smooth. Of course, the Cobras, when they're not adjusted right, do not shift well. It was a, becoming a nightmare. And the Cobra eventually ate its gears. But this is great. I put it in myself. Not too hard. Took a little while but um, rewarding and plus you learn about the drive and how to adjust the uh, shift and you can set bend as long as you want to make sure it shifts smooth. smooth. Uh, this is the out drive. This portion right here is the conversion part of the kit and that mates to the OMC bell housing and gimbal uh, housing and then the SC116 bolts right onto the back of that. Very easy. And of course you keep your Cobra pistons. You get a spacer here because the Cobra stern drive comes out further. So it's just an easy bolt on. Everything came in the kit. And uh, a lot of people ask, do you need the uh, exhaust bellows? I did not use it. I don't know if you can see it. It's not necessary. It doesn't make the boat much louder. The problem is the OMC is round and you won't be able to see it back there, but the stern drive is an oval. And there are a lot of uh, pictures of people who have made a conversion using a car muffler clamp to extend out that is uh, perfectly acceptable. You can find those pictures on the stern drive engineering website under the forum. A uh, great way to do it if you want to spend extra time. I did not. It doesn't really bother me at all. The exhaust comes out of there and it's not any louder to me at all. So that's that. Let me show you a few other important things. The uh, only problem, not even a problem, but the part that is annoying is you have to change the throw of the shifter. If you've done any research on the kit, you realize that you have to do it. This boat came with a U.S. Marine shifter, and uh, you can see my new uh, mount, white mount here, because the uh, bay liner had an old uh, fabric uh, side panel where the shifter mounted, the wood was rotted out, so I built this, but this, you pop the uh, plate off here, pull the handle out, slide these off each side, take the screw off, you can get the shifter out on the back, and you take the, you have to unscrew or unbolt the arms and flip them the other direction, your throw is reversed. All the U.S. Marines are, sh are easily done. If your boat has something else, maybe not, you'd have to buy a new shifter. The only other thing I wanted to show you is the instructions on that came with the SEI conversion tell you that you have to bypass the ESA. I did not, and I'm very glad I did it. The difference is if you do it, leave the shifter the way it is, when you pull the boat from forward to reverse, the strain here will pull this lever up, triggering this micro switch here, and it will stumble just a few of the cylinders, and it relieves the pressure on the clutch dog, and it slides out of gear smoothly. If you do it the way Stern Drive Engineering suggests you do it, where you ground out the whole thing, it will stumble the entire engine. I figured I would try it first, leaving everything intact, see how it went, and it runs silky smooth, silky smooth out of gear. So I didn't have to, I didn't cut the wires, but you, some engines may be different, some of the drives may be different depending on how you adjust it. But the other thing is the overstroke switch, which I wanted to talk about. This is the uh, interrupter, this is the um, overstroke. Now, when my boat is in forward gear, which I'm going to show you, so it's going to take a minute. I have to go down to spin the props, so bear with me. No, it's going to work. 
I could not get the cam to recenter. Technically, this really needs to recenter, which it is now, but it just won't. So when it's in forward gear, the engine is stumbling and running, running rough. So I'm glad that I did not cut anything because I adjusted my overstroke switch, which when that cam in forward gear pushes that switch in, it cancels out your interrupter and this centering is no big deal because it doesn't matter. So I would recommend do a sea trial with the boat before you cut any wires to bypass the ESA that they talk about. The ESA, a lot of people don't understand this is the interrupt switch which you are keeping no matter if you do choose to bypass the ESA. The ESA is a module that's what commands the engine to um, cut out only part of the cylinders. When you bypass it, you are cutting the entire engine. And I didn't want to be in a position where the engine is completely stalled. I'd rather have it running, which it is. It just stumbles for a brief second. And it, again, mine is extremely smooth. So it might be worth a sea trial before you do it. And uh, finally, a lot of people don't know which wire to cut. It doesn't matter. Cut both. Run one to the ground and one to the uh, um, negative side of your coil if you do cho choose to uh, do it. doesn't matter which wire. They make it complicated in the directions. Find out which one is. It's not ground. doesn't matter. But again, highly recommend you see trial it. If you do keep to, to choose to keep it, you can't get your thing to center here. And just set your overstroke switch. That's the forward and then the reverse. And then it really doesn't matter what you... Uh, if, if you can't get the V notch to recenter. Hope this all helps you make a decision. And um, if you have any questions, you can email me at uh, jbsdc9 at gmail.com. J is in John, B is in boy, S is in Sam, D is in dog, C is in cat, the number nine at gmail.com. I don't know everything, but it, maybe I can help or take a picture, send it to you if it uh, makes your decision making easier. Hope you enjoyed. I absolutely love the conversion. I'm glad they had it available as it made uh, this boat affordable. I could not afford to replace the entire drive and engine with a Merc Cruiser. So my engine is awesome. The drive just uh, was not. And I can assure you the shifting is silky smooth with this new drive. You'll all be happy with it. Enjoy. Feel free to email me with any questions. Bye.